Every victim of a narcissist needs to watch this now. Narcissists have insatiable desires. No matter what you do for them, they will never be happy with anything. Or they will pretend like they're happy to manipulate you into doing more. But they are impossible to satisfy. One person could never be enough for them because they're not enough for themselves. They don't feel whole or complete. So they train you into being this person who tries to complete them. And when you do that, you may think that you're getting somewhere. You may think you're making progress towards achieving something. But it never goes anywhere. You never consistently achieve a satisfactory result with a narcissist. Because when you're trying to please them, they see it as a sign of weakness. They see it as an act of despair. They see it as though you lack power and influence. As though you're very naive. As though you lack experience, wisdom and judgement. As though you're easily persuaded to believe something. Because if you were smart, you would know that they don't deserve anything from you. You wouldn't give them the time of day. You wouldn't pay them any attention. But when you do give them your attention, they just see it as though they've managed to trick you. They've deliberately caused you to believe something that is not true. They've given you a mistaken impression. When you treat them like a king or a queen, they treat you like their servant. When you treat them like a celebrity, they treat you like a fan. Because they think you're a fool. They think you've lost touch with reality. And they are laughing at you behind your back. Because they know they don't deserve anything you're doing for them. So they just see you as someone who is easy to take advantage of. And that's why they keep you around. Because you're willing to play their game. You're willing to validate the illusions of their false self. Because maybe you feel lonely. Maybe you don't want to be abandoned. But this always results in foolish behaviour. It causes you to behave irrationally. It causes you to go in excess of their expectations and demands. Where you are trying to please them. Where you are trying to make them happy. But when you do that. They don't respect you. They don't value or appreciate anything you're doing for them. They just see it as a sign of weakness. Because they know they're not deserving of your kindness and respect. They know they're not meant to be loved. Which is why if you try to love the narcissist, they will only take advantage of you. They will only string you along. They will play games with you. They will deliberately mislead you about their intentions because they know that they can. They know that you will continue to chase them, which is why they don't put in any effort with you. They expect you to do all the work. They know that you want companionship, 
They know that you want a relationship. But that's not important to a narcissist. All they care about is supply. Which is why anything you have with a narcissist will always be more important to you than it is to them. Which means that they will always have power over you. Because at any moment they can take that away from you. Unless you learn to value yourself. When you are dealing with a narcissist, the only thing that will work is going within yourself. You've already tried to please them. You've tried to make them happy. You've tried giving them money. You've tried giving them special treatment. And they've shown you exactly how they feel when you do that for them. They're very ungrateful. They minimize anything you do for them. They've given you all the answers you're looking for. So stop trying to fix the situation. You can't fix something that isn't broken. They're quite comfortable with how things are. So put your attention back on yourself. Realize that the narcissist is not special or important. They're not going to pay your bills. They're not going to change your life. They're not going to make your life better. They know they can't do that. And that is why they choose to exploit you. But they're never going to change. You need to learn to love yourself. You need to put yourself first. You need to be the most important person in your life. Or you will continue to meet these types of people. They will tell you whatever they think you want to hear. They will use future faking. They will tell you that you will be rewarded for your efforts at some point in the future. But while you're waiting for that to happen, they're playing games with you. They're pushing your buttons. Which should reveal to you that there isn't anything in the future. Because if they're not going to act right now, why would they suddenly change once you've given everything you have to them? Then there's not even any incentive for them to act right. Because they've already gotten what they wanted from you. But if you leave the narcissist, they will try to get you back. They will try to rekindle your interest and feelings. But once you redevelop a strong desire for something, they will only string you along. They will play games with you. Because they don't have anything to give to you anyway. They only come back if they want something from you. Take the narcissist off their pedestal and learn to love yourself. Realize your worth. Realize that you have done more for them than they could ever do for you. And stop making the narcissist the center of your world. Stop giving your power away to someone who will only misuse it. Don't be afraid to leave the narcissist. Realize that you're not gaining anything by being with them. 
Realize that someone else could be more deserving of what you have. Someone else could appreciate it more than they do. Because any time you gave the narcissist what they wanted, it only made them worse. It didn't change anything. It didn't make things better. So there's no point in doing something for someone if it's not going to be appreciated. If it's not going to be given the recognition that it deserves. Give it to someone who will appreciate it. Someone who will respect you for it. Someone who's not going to take it for granted. Someone who will be able to reciprocate what you're giving to them. Someone who understands the value of it. Someone who understands that something of value needs to be treated with love and care. Rather than someone who is just going to put it on the shelf and forget about it. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at Narc Survivor at UK. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.